All right, now, this is what happens. You approach a river. He's sitting there, he's primed up, and he's ready to go. He feels the opportunity is going to rise. Here we go. We lunge out, we attack you. Man gets a big crop. Man gets a big crop. It's like eating a bowl of cornflakes, isn't it? <laughs> right, he can't swallow the food under the water. He can take you under there and he'll drown you, but to swallow it, he'll have to do what he did then, raise his head up. Because as you look down at Croc's throat, you can't see anything. It's a modified tongue. It means they can swim through the water with your leg in their mouth, but they're not going to drown. To swallow your leg, he must raise his head right out. Folks, we're just going to grab a pile out of this pen. Right, so look at the size of the animal. And this is a lot of work for them to lift. You're looking at an animal that weighs in excess of half a ton, 500 kilograms. To lift this body up out of the water now is a big effort. Right, so he'll work pretty hard for this. I see him moving. Yeah. I can see the water moving from it. Okay. It's bigger. So it's, they know because they're conditioned. Right, this happens repetitively. So it's a repetitive action. <laughs> it's not something that we can get in there one day and you've learned to do it. Right, there's a little female in here too. Right, I think she was just out there. But she'll keep out the way normally while this is going on. I think there's a big hole in that fence too. Oh, thanks. A big what? Oh, oh. Too late. All right, a little bit of conservation. I'll lighten it up as a little story for you. All right, because you're all on holidays. Say all of you folks here this morning, you're headed up the Daintree River, you got yourself on a cruise boat and you're cruising down the Daintree. You had a pretty good guide and your guide suggested he saw 10 nests along the banks. What does a croc nest look like? You can all have a look at one in a minute. Estuarine crocs nest in the wet. All right, we've had a taste of it. Prawns, barramundi and a hell of a lot of other things. You'll sustainably use the Daintree National Park while you're here. You'll sustainably use the Great Barrier Reef. We all pay for the privilege and part of what we pay should go back to the management, the research and the conservation. What I'm trying to suggest, as long as the government doesn't interfere, you may have guaranteed the survival of Mesterine Crocs. Yeah. And I think that's Video something pretty special. Mm. Pretty long. Yes. Here we go. But not all the time. Here we go. He sits there and he waits. Open up. He did a big key for the six of his bones. Alright folks, see up the end there, see all the guinea grass? 